I like to play fast bowlers because ball comes straight on the bat. I want to play cricket. Mr. West, Sachin is the best. Oh, there's no doubt that he's the best batsman in the world. Or the world number one. Yeah. Fortunate that you know, I have to only bowl to him at the nets. मुझे लगता है उससे ज़्यादा सीधा सरल दूसरा व्यक्ति मिलना मुश्किल है। What I'm amazed with is his handle for runs. मेरे दो मॉडल वो थे पहले और अभी मेरे दो मॉडल वही हैं। He just, he just amazing man. Number one. He is not only Indian number one, I think he's world number one. He's the master sportsman, probably the, you know, the only great sportsman in the true sense of great that I've ever known. The world number one, Sachin Tendulkar, Mr. India. In a way, this is where it all started here at the Cricket Club of India. One of the traditions of this historic club is minors, or those who are below the age of 18, are not allowed to enter the clubhouse. But there was only one instance, way back in 1988, when the club had to relax its rules so that a young 15-year-old could play for the team and enter the clubhouse. A young boy who was disciplined, committed, and dedicated. A young man who was so fiercely determined to excel on the cricketing field for his country and for himself. The first time I saw Sachin was here in, on this historic ground, right behind me, in February of 1988. It was a Harris Shield match. Such was his awe that before he took his leg stump from the umpire, there was a deep mid-off, a deep mid-on, a deep extra cover, a deep mid-wicket. And I could quite see what the schoolboys thought of his cricket. He drove the ball, took a single. I think he was playing for the first time on a full-size ground. Then he drove the ball to mid-off, he got a single. He took about four or five singles with sizzling drives. It was amazing. Like any other Indian cricketer, he was not mechanical. So he started checkmating his stroke, so that the fielder had to run, and he converted one into two. Nobody in the Indian team could have grasped it as quickly as he did. I was left in no doubt in my mind that I was watching a future India test batsman. In that match at the CCI, Sachin Tendulkar scored an unbeaten 286. A year later, he spoke about his dreams, his desires and his passion, the game of cricket. Sachin, you must be getting tired now of people asking you questions and giving interviews or what? No, I think this is just start. It's the start of it. It's part of, it's part of being a cricket star also, no? They give interviews. We were interviewing Dilip Vengsalkar at the Hindu Gym Khana, just outside over there. And uh, Sachin came with his brother Ajit. I think he just played a match and come. He was carrying his kit bag. He walked across the Maidan from the railway station. And he stood there for half an hour, one hour and two hours because Vengsalkar was the, was the big star and uh, he was taking his time to finish off the interview. But this young man stood there patiently, watching everything, absorbing everything. And when his turn came, I remember very distinctly, uh, Tom posed this question to him. Uh, if uh, you get selected to go to the West Indies, uh, you'll be happy about that or you think no, you want course. to wait a few years? No, of course, I'll be happy. This is the right time to go. Yeah. You don't think you're too young. So many people are saying that uh, Marshall is so fast and Ambrose is so fast that you'll have trouble facing them. What do you think? No, I don't have any trouble to face much. You prefer facing uh, fast bowling? Mm, yeah, I prefer always. What, is, what is the reason for that? I like to play fast bowlers because ball comes straight on the bat. You also bowl in your, your school matches, no? Yeah. What type of bowling do you do? Medium pace. And uh, you want to continue in uh, Ranji Trophy bowling or not? Yeah, for some time I'll be bowling. Yes. But you will obviously concentrate on it's your body. Small spell on the LB body. 
you were talking about Raju Kulkarni's bowling, yeah. that he's the fastest uh, bowler in India that you've faced. At the CCI Nets, I think Kapil also bowled to you yeah, to give you some practice. How was that? He was also very good. And then his outswing and in-swing, you yeah. didn't have a problem with that? No, I don't know. No, I prefer all the games. One day, three day, five day. Have you always wanted to be a cricket player or you, you tried other sports also when you were in school? I want to be a cricket player. Always. In early 1989, the selectors chose to ignore this 15-year-old's claims. But half a year later, they could not ignore him anymore. Some of us kept on saying what would happen if he failed. The wait went on for about 20 minutes. When I started the second round, Narin Tamane, who died, great wicket keeper, very good student of the game, he turned around and said, Mr. Chairman, what are we talking about? So I kept quiet. He said, we are talking about Sachin Tendulkar failing. I want to tell you one thing. Sachin Tendulkar does not fail. Sachin was picked in the Indian team touring Pakistan in 1989-90. The Indian team to Pakistan was a blend of experience and youth. Experienced heads like Captain Srikanth, Kapil Dev and Shastri were complemented by youngsters like Vivek Rathan, Sunny Lankona and the wonder boy Sachin Tendulkar. Well, when I uh, met Sachin, I couldn't believe that this young boy is going to play for the country because he was looking so young. And then we had a camp in Delhi. There uh, he was practicing and the way he was practicing, I was really amazed. That was a fantastic, uh, uh, you could see that time that uh, uh, there is something in this boy. Sachin was 16 years and 205 days old when he made his test debut. He was India's youngest test cricketer of all time. The first three test matches were drawn. In the fourth and final test at Seattle Court, the Pakistanis went flat out for a win. In the second innings, India were in big trouble at 38 for 4 against the fiery trio of Imran Khan, Wasim Akram and Wakar Yunus. At this critical stage, in walked Sachin Tendulkar. Wakar was, well, he was clearly at his peak then. He was young, 13 years younger, much, much quicker. And he came and bowled a, you know, a snorter at Sachin, which rose from just short of a length and hit him straight on the nose. Immediately when he got hurt on, on the nose, I was the first person to go over there and check out his uh, cut. It was uh, quite a gash on this part, on the left side of the nose. And initially, a little, I thought like, you know, he would be a little shaken up or something. But surprisingly for, my, for me also, when I went and spoke to him, he was absolutely crisp and clear. And he told me, I don't want to go inside. Just do one thing, just get a kind of a, uh, iodine or something, just put it on my nose. He did that and there he was. Got back into his stunts and there was Bakar running in furiously and bowled another delivery immediately after he was hit on the nose. And Sachin Tendulkar just leaned into it and covered over him for four. And you know, that in a, in a sense broke the spell which had been cast over that match. I got hit in Pakistan on the first tour at Seattle Court from uh, Bakar Yunus. And uh, in fact, uh, that gave me a lot of courage and I realized that at the most, if you get hurt, at the most it's going to be that much. It's not going to be more than that. So I'm prepared to take it. Sachin scored 57 and saved the match for India. The teenager had come of age. The next stop of the Indian team was New Zealand. Hailed as the team of the 90s, they arrived in Kiwiland hoping to do well. The star attraction was young Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin made a huge impression on everybody, including the captain of New Zealand, John Wright. Well, it was a long time ago, uh, and we were all very interested in him in New Zealand because we've heard of this young master that had all of a sudden emerged out of India and, and the thing that was interesting for us is that he'd done well against Pakistan who at the time were a really strong side. So the first test in Christchurch, I, 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 I'm sure he didn't get many, in fact I, I don't know if he troubled the scorers, but in the second test at Napier uh, he got 80 odd and of course would have been the youngest batsman probably to get a test 100 and he batted quite beautifully and uh, I was feeling a mid off at the time of, as the captain of that series. 